and then the khaki over here. Can you do it? It smells so good. And I photographed her in Palm Springs until I saw her. And I went, oh, yeah, I get her in Palm Springs. Where is the front of the car? Tell me how Jane Fonda exemplifies excellence in film to you. I think she's probably been promoted to goddess <laughs> from mere mortal. I mean, she has the ability to reach deep, deep within herself and offer up things that nobody has a right to expect from a performer. I mean, she makes it look easy. And I know how hard she works, because I read her book. And I've been a fan of hers since I could attend film. And I'm, to be here tonight and honor her in any way is so heartfelt for me. And it's such a gift to me to be able to thank her for what she's meant to me all of my life. So. Do you have a favorite role of hers? In oh my film? gosh. I know, there's so many. That's like saying Sophie's Choice. Um, I could not possibly name a favorite. I mean, you know, I never saw Barbarella all the way through. I think I had a, an empathy for her as an actress, and I just couldn't watch her suffer, because I know how awkward it can be to be glamorous, and she made it look effortless, but she speaks about it so well in her book, and um, anyway, I digress. Let's see. And that was all her hair. Of course it was all her hair. It's still all her hair now. She's amazing. I'm telling you, she's not a mortal. She's a goddess. <laughs> um, your next film, film Trumbo, mm -hmm. uh, that's a deeply personal look into a dark period in Hollywood. Can you tell me about that and, and playing Cleo and, and your feelings on making that film? Well, it was such an honor to get to work with Brian Cranston, and I was lucky enough to do it right when he was coming off of Broadway and with his amazing performance in what I call LBJ. And now he's making the feature film version of that with Jay Roach also. I love Jay Roach. I would fetch coffee on a Jay Roach set. He's such a lovely human being. I want to work with him again. Um, and, you know, Cleo is the proverbial amazing woman behind an amazing man because in order for the amount of sacrifice that Trumbo had to make, of course, that meant that his family did too and um, getting to interview the girls and hear the daughters and hear uh, their experience and, and try to honor them and bring that to the screen. Um, it's always a tricky, hopeful thing when you have uh, what's called a biopic, you know, because there's so much to cover. Um, I wish I'd had more scenes with Helen Mirren. Um, any excuse to work near her is great. Um, and we've just got a, an incredible cast, so to be among them is, it's great. Can't wait to see it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think you're brilliant. Well, you're sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll so take much. it.